Hey guys, I'm Hop, you're watching TFB TV. In the dead heat of summer, I got a chance to go to the Gunsight Academy in Arizona to shoot a couple new guns from Mossberg, including two new variants of the 590 shotgun, the 590S and the 590S Shockwave. The new models still look the same as the venerable Workhorse 590, the changes are all on the inside. Mossberg redesigned the feed system of the S model to reliably cycle short shells. The standard 12 gauge shell is 2 and 3 quarter inches long. You can also get 3 inch long magnum shells or 3 and a half inch long super magnum shells if you really hate turkeys and your own shoulder. The 12 gauge mini shell is made by Aguila and Federal is 1 and 3 quarter inches long. Mini shells have two advantages over regular ones. First is reduced recoil. Less powder and less payload means they don't kick as hard, which is good for quicker follow up shots or for newer shooters who are a little gun shy. 12 gauge pump actions are a handful. The second advantage is capacity. A tactical shotgun like the Mossberg 590 holds 8 plus 1 shells of regular 2 and 3 quarter inch 12 gauge. With the use of mini shells, that goes up to 14 shells. You can get mini shells in buckshot, slug, or birdshot loadings. These advantages used to be pretty much hypothetical though, because shotguns were never designed to use shells this short. Reliability with the mini shells has never been all that good. I've seen plenty of guys online claiming they can use mini shells in their pump actions, but it's almost always followed up with a caveat about how you have to be careful not to work the action too fast, or too slow, or too hard, or too soft. It's easy enough to induce a malfunction in a pump shotgun. You don't need to complicate things by tossing non-standard shells into the mix. You can buy an adapter insert for existing pump shotguns like the Mossberg 590 that will allow it to feed mini shells reliably, but this precludes the use of standard shells while the adapter's installed, and it's a bit of a hack. The little adapter could always just kind of fall out. So enter the Mossberg 590S. The feed system of the 590S can cycle full-size shells, it can cycle minis, and it can cycle any blend of the two. TFB camera guy Ryan and I were down at the Gunsight Academy in Arizona when it was 118 degrees to shoot these things. We could not get them to choke on the minis. We deliberately loaded a random mix of shells into the standard 590S, the 590S Shockwave, and the 590S Security model with the extended tube, and they just kept going. Is there any practical benefit to mixing minis with regular shells? No, of course not. It's just a fun demonstration of how tolerant the new design is of different cartridge lengths. There is a practical benefit of loading up with a shitload of minis though, especially with the 590S Shockwave. The Stubby Shockwave is a clever little legal loophole, but it has limited capacity and it's really hard to shoot. If you put short shells in the short shotgun, you go from 5 to 8 shots in the tube, and the shooting experience goes from painful to borderline enjoyable. The availability of a pump shotgun that can reliably cycle any length of shell interchangeably sort of elevates the mini shells from a gimmick to more than a gimmick but still less than a game changer. Short shells are now just another arrow in the quiver. One of our ad hoc drills was to shoot a bunch of steel targets from the back of a moving truck. The capacity increase of a tube loaded with mini shells came in very handy. Limited time on target means you can't really stop for a reload, and reloading from a compromised position is not easy to begin with. If this has a real-world application outside of gang warfare, I'm not sure what it is, but get creative. If you already have a Mossberg 500 or 590, you probably shouldn't go out of your way to replace it with the S model unless you really want to shoot short shells. But if you're in the market for a 590, you might as well get the new version. It's got an extra trick up its sleeve and no downsides I can see at all. Thanks for watching guys. TFB TV is supported by our sponsors Ventura Munitions and Top Gun Supply. We are also directly supported by our wonderful viewers like you via Subscribestar and Patreon. We've got links to both of those in the video description, so check them out. You can also find a link to our Discord server, although you probably know better than to click on that. See you next time.